I know during the fall and winter, it is a lot easier for horses to become dehydrated. Because of the cooler temperatures, they aren't as inclined to drink their water as they are in the hotter months. This was the reason my horse got impaction colic last week. Oh, that's a bummer. It was a very scary experience, and I really don't want it to happen again. What are some ways to encourage horses to drink during the fall and winter months and make sure they stay hydrated, other than keeping fresh water in front of them all the time and providing a salt lick? Okay. Nobody likes colic. Nobody likes colic. Um, so, I was really tickled when I read this one because there's a piece of research. Is it might be my favorite research ever. Oh, I know, and we get to I'm talk excited. about it today, and we'll put I'm it on excited. the screen. So, because it's you know it's an early Christmas issue. for you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's just the, the gift that keeps on giving. So, the, what this research says, and it's been mis. Here's why I like it. It's been misinterpreted for years. Mm, a good myth. We all love a good myth. Oh, so there's a behavior group out of New Bolton Center in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And they have this herd of feral or wild ponies. Oh, adorable. Yeah. And they said, we want to solve this drinking winter cold issue mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. once and for all. So what they did was they measured if we give a herd of ponies warm water, mm -hmm. Do they like that? Do they drink it? And they cold water. And what they found was horses, ponies, prefer, drum roll, cold water. What? How cold? Um, like Very cold. No, like 40. Okay. In the 40s. Okay. They like cold water best. If, so if there's three buckets sitting, cold, warm, hot, they'll go to the cold. Okay. But they don't drink as much. Oh. They'll take a sip of the cold and oh, that was delicious. If there is only, if take away the cold and now there's only warm water available, they'll drink it and they'll drink more. Oh, interesting. So they I could see that. Yeah, they prefer cold, but they drink more warm. So the key takeaway from this research is only, make sure your only source of water for the horse is warm and then they will drink more. Mm -hmm. But if you provide both, they're just going to keep sipping on the cold. They'll drink a little bit of the cold, and okay. then you could run into trouble. Okay. Isn't that fascinating? That's pretty cool. And it's kind of backwards what we all think, and right. it's, it's backwards of what many people took away from it. But the primary researcher, every once in a while she comes out and she goes, you guys, you're, you're, you got this all wrong. They prefer cold, but they drink more warm. They don't always know what's best for them. They hardly these horses, ever know what's best for these them. These horses and I'm sure extremely adorable feral ponies. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm so glad I was able to share that research. That's fantastic. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Is there anything other than uh, Salt Lake that would encourage a horse to drink more readily in the wintertime? Most people know I'm not a fan of Salt Lake. I know, that's why I wanted to give yeah, you another chance to answer they, it. They, they were made for cattle. And if you've ever been licked by a cow, you know it's really, really rough. Their tongues are like sandpaper. And but ad also adorable. But also adorable. Um, but and horses don't have tongues like that, and they they don't enjoy licking a salt lick, and they won't get the amount that they should because the minimum requirement for a day is one ounce. That's about two tablespoons. So imagine having to lick a hard thing this rough to get two tablespoons of salt. I mean, I can't imagine. But so it, there, you can top dress the the feed with um, salt. Still not very palatable. Mm -hmm. There are pellets made with tastier substances. That, um, that sneak the salt in there, yeah. too. And so, okay. and so horses like them, like our smart salt pellets. Uh, you can also just go with, with electrolytes that have sodium chloride in them. Mm -hmm. So something like that will stimulate thirst in your horse. It takes a while. The mechanism is the salt goes in the body, in the digestive system, and it draws water from the blood. Then the blood becomes more concentrated, right? Which sends a signal to the brain I'm too concentrated, drink more, and dilute me. And that's how it happens. Now, it yeah. doesn't happen in minutes, it takes hours. So we tell people, plan at least four hours, like if you're going somewhere or whatever, don't, don't give salt and then immediately expect the horse to be hydrated. It takes a while for these feedback mechanisms to sort of to work. Okay. But, can, while we're on the subject of yes. this, can we bust one of my favorite myths, which <laughs> is, People think if you have a powdered electrolyte, you can just throw that in your horse's water bucket, and oh. then he's drinking Gatorade, and he will feel so refreshed and hydrated. Oh, and I even wrote down here to make sure to say, 
If you choose to put your salt or electrolytes in water. I didn't even know that, but oh, I set you yeah, up perfect. No, I'm very here. excited about this. If you choose to do that, you must provide a second bucket of plain water with nothing in it, because otherwise you're, you're defeating the whole purpose. You're giving them salt to cause them to drink plain water to restore volume and hydration. If the only fluid they have is super concentrated, you're not really helping. You're just making them thirstier and thirstier, and yeah. they drink more of the super concentrated salt. Yeah, water. so they're getting more of the electrolytes, the sodium, the chloride, the calcium, the phosphorus, magnesium, all those things in there. And what they need is more fluid. So if you're trying to proactively hydrate your horse, consistent daily doses of salt in their feed, always the best bet. Yeah. Okay.